people, wrong people, will tell you that the Forza Horizon games are all about racing. Well, old sensible Higton is here to tell you that while Forza Horizon 4 is technically a racing game, it doesn't have to be. Go looking hard enough and there are plenty of non-racing things to do, although unfortunately those things are all a little bit stupid. In fact, some of them are more than a little stupid. Some of them could get you put in prison, so don't go doing any of the following in real life. Do you hear? Oh, and before we crack on with the stupidity, here's a quick shout out to our sponsors, the Huawei Honor Play. Hooray for Huawei! OK, let's get something really stupid out of the way first. Something that's both antisocial and incredibly disrespectful to the history of the British Isles itself. You see that weird looking drawing of a horse on a hill there? That is the Uffington White Horse, a prehistoric hill figure which was carved into the side of White Horse Hill sometime in the late Bronze Age, which was like a thousand years before Jesus or something. Now, when I was a wee nipper, I used to live very close to the Uffington White Horse, so close in fact that the area I used to live in was called the Vale of the White Horse. I visited that lovely chalk pony many times in my life, and I feel incredibly proud to have been brought up in the shadow of this perfect prehistoric picture. Which is why I felt really bad when I drove all the way up White Horse Hill and started doing wheel spins on the horse's face. Now, in real life, White Horse Hill is much, much steeper than this, so actually getting a car up to its face in the first place would be a bit of a mission. But if you did, oh lordy, you'd be thrown in the slammer quicker than the local historians could get you hung, drawn and quartered. Don't do it! Forza Horizon 4's biggest gimmick is seasons, and no, I'm not talking about the stuff you add to food to change its flavour. That's seasonings. No, I'm talking about spring, summer, autumn, and of course, Johnny's favourite season of all, winter. Once a week, the entire game will change season, and one of the coolest things about that is that each season will change the way you race. Too much snow in winter, for instance, will negatively impact your car's handling, while the muddier months, like spring, will change how much your tyres can grip the terrain when cutting corners. Oh, and in autumn, a fallen leaf will stop all the trains from running. <laughs> Sorry, that last one wasn't true. That's a bit of British humour for you. Seasons don't just bring about little visual changes, though. They also open up brand new areas to race on. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take lakes, for instance. In spring, summer and autumn, big lakes will be out of bounds, but in winter, some of them will freeze over, allowing you to drive across them and compete in a series of special events, like drag racing on the ice. So, you're probably wondering where the stupid comes in, right? Well, it turns out that most of the watery areas in Forza Horizon 4 are actually super shallow. So, even in the summer months, like this one, you can go full throttle into the water without those normal sinking plus drowning consequences. This also means that, with a little bit of effort, you can ram into boats, push them out of the lake, and then take them on a drive around town. It's stupid, pointless, and, for some strange reason, the boats turn into ghosts after a while, and then they disappear. Farewell, ghost boat. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, and be warned, it turns out this method doesn't work for the bigger boats. Damaging other people's property on purpose is a crime. That's why the act of damaging other people's property on purpose is called criminal damage. Committing acts of criminal damage is stupid enough already, but when the culprit then records themselves committing said crime, thereby providing proof that they were the culprit all along, well, that's when things get real stupid. And that's where I come in. 
While most sensible people will be using Forza Horizon 4's photo mode to set up shots of beautiful sports cars glinting in the perfectly framed sunlight, you'll find me smashing into old red phone boxes and other delicate items in order to capture some memorable moments of criminal chaos. Now, doing a crime, snapshotting the evidence and then popping a filter on it like some kind of out-of-control Instagram celebrity is stupid, but it's not as stupid as doing all of that and then using the game's inbuilt tools to share your crimes with the entire world. No, that's mega stupid and a surefire way to end up in Ashbrook Nick while all the other racers get to enjoy the Horizon Festival. Listen, please don't judge me when I say this, but I spent quite a lot of time trying to run over sheep in Forza Horizon 4. Like, way longer than could be considered normal. But you see, that's because all the sheep have this incredible onboard navigation system that allows them to dodge out of the way of even the fastest of cars. Honestly, I tried for ages and not once did my car connect with any of those woolly wonders. But that's when I had an even stupider idea. I decided to turn my car into a sheepdog. Come by! Walk on! Away! Now, I never managed to get the sheep through a gate or anything, but I did come up with a nice segue into the fact that the length of the sheep's wool changes depending on the season. So it gets longer in the autumn and winter months, but is shorn short during the summer, which is just one of the many lovely, subtle touches that Forza Horizon 4 brings with its changing seasons. See? Stupidity and facts. That's why you lot come here. Don't forget to like and subscribe for Stupidity and Facts. If you've ever played Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, you'll know that the fictional town of Yorton feels like a real place. Well, I got that same feeling from driving around the town of Broadway in Forza Horizon 4 because everything was just so detailed. I mean, look, you can even park up and check out how much the sandwiches cost at the local pub if you really want. Oh, bloody hell. Five quid for a cheese and ham sarnie? That's taking the piss, Broadway. Anyway, this leads me on to my fifth stupid thing you can do, which is to drive around staring into people's windows. Obviously, this sort of behaviour would result in some severe tutting from real-life passers-by, but doing it in Forza Horizon is consequence-free, and I had a lovely time driving around the game world having a nosy into people's living rooms. Just, uh, maybe watch where you're going once in a while, otherwise things like this will happen. Oh god, how are people gonna know the opening times of the local pharmacy now? I'm sorry. This next point is probably the least stupidest thing on this list, and to be honest, it's definitely the coolest. It's still got nothing to do with racing though. You see, in Forza Horizon 4, it's totally possible to reenact scenes from the Avengers Infinity War movie. Well, okay, reenacting scenes might be a stretch, but you can totally go visit some of the filming locations. You see, there's a bit in Infinity War where Vision and Scarlet Witch get into a series of scraps around Edinburgh, and the team at Playground Games have recreated the city of Edinburgh in so much detail that I was able to find my way to the front of Edinburgh Castle by memory alone, which is incredible considering I've only been there once and that was on holiday 10 years ago. So yeah, as you can see on the in-game map here, you'll be able to drive past Waverley Station, which is the place where Scarlet Witch Vision, Cap, Black Widow and Falcon face off with Thanos' thugs. You'll be able to park up next to St. Giles' Cathedral where Vision and the elfy looking one had a scrap. But best of all, you'll also be able to visit Coburn Street here and pick up your very own deep fried kebab. Mmm, marvellous. The final stupid thing on this list is the stupidest thing in the world, so I'm not going to dwell on it too much, but here we go. In Forza Horizon 4, you can do the Fortnite floss dance. <sighs> I'm sorry, just please 
Someone kill it now, please. And those were seven stupid things you can do in Forza Horizon 4 when you're not having fun racing around one of the most beautiful video games I've ever seen. Before I toddle off to do more silly things in the game, I'd just like to give another shout out to the Huawei Honor Play. It's a mobile phone made with gaming in mind, and you can find out more about it by clicking on the Honor Play store link in the description below. If you enjoyed this little look at Forza Horizon 4, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Eurogamer for daily videos about video games, and maybe check out some of the other videos that are on screen now. Have a great day, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.